Hi guys, my name is Dimitri Varminides and today because of the request I'm going to show you how to go big. I'm not talking about do small jumps, everybody can do that, I'm talking about shooting to the moon, okay? But in order to do this you need to know two things. First, you need to choose the perfect equipment. Second, you need to learn those four steps that I'm going to show you in a few minutes in the water, okay? Now, uh, at Epic Kites, this is the reason why we have different models. We have the Renegade, this is the Renegade, this is the Infinity, it's for light wind. Then we have the Renegade here model, which is uh, the all-around kite, good for waves, good for jumping, good for freestyle. Then we have the Judge Sea Kite, it's good for wedge style, for new school. And of course, the Screamer, and this is the kite that you want for jumping. That's why we came up with the name Screamer, because once you jump on it, you're like, ah, you start screaming. So the Screamer is my kind of choice if I want to go big. If I want to do all those big boards up, big handle pass, big things, I use the Screamer, okay? So uh, again, you have also the Surf here, the Surf model, okay, which is for the Surf. We have also the Racer, which is for the race, and we have also the Junior Pro 4 and uh, 8, which is for the kids, guys. And of course, we have harnesses and different boards, okay? So today, it's blowing 18, 22 miles up there, so I'm going to take the Screamer 12, Screamer 12, uh, Screamer 9 will be good, Screamer 10 will be good too, but I'm not going to go that high. You know, I'm going to pop nicely, but I'm not going to go really high and stay up there, okay? So I want to go with Screamer 12, there it is. So I'll take the Screamer 12, okay? And for boards, I'm going to go with the Droid, which is 135 by 41 centimeters. Um, there it is. Okay, this is the Droid, okay? So these two kites will be perfect. But again, you need to learn those four steps that I'm going to show you. Now, if the wind picks up, okay, um, I can hold the 12 to maybe 27 miles per hour, but I'm going to have to change boards to a smaller one, which is the Spartan. Right here. There's a Spartan, okay? But right now, it's blowing 22. I can manage with the Droid. So I'm going to take the Droid, okay, and the Screamer 12, and let's go in the water, and I'll show you those four steps. Okay guys, I'm ready to get out and I'm going to show you these uh, four steps. Now, you can do this as a regular or as goofy stance, okay? I'm going to show it to you as a regular. A regular stance is left foot forward, right hand on the back, okay? So that's going to be your back hand. This is where you pull for step one, okay? Uh, you can do this same thing as a goofy, but then your back hand is going to be your left and your front hand, uh, front leg is going to be your right, okay? Foot. Okay, now as a regular, what you want to do is you want to maintain a good speed. You don't want to go too fast, keep your kite around uh, 10 o'clock and then once you're ready, step one, pull it, pull your back hand, step one, pull your back hand, step two, edge up wind really fast, step three, push off and step four, once you're in the air, pull your kite with your front hand so you can bring, redirect the kite uh, in front of you so you can land softly, okay? So again, it's timing, it's step one, one, step two, two, step three, jump, Step four, redirect the kite by pulling your front hand, okay? Again, step one and two are sometimes very crucial. It might be one, two, three, okay? So one, two, and three are very crucial. Uh, what you want to do really fast is two and three. So as soon as you edge up wind, immediately you want to push up at the same time, so, okay? So you have to understand this point. Anyway, let me get on the water so you can understand better how this works in the water. Okay, we're ready to go, but before this, I want to give you an idea what I want you to be able to accomplish by the end of this video. So by the end of this video, hopefully, you learn these four steps that are very crucial in how to jump big. Okay, so just follow these four steps and you'll be good to go. Okay, so your kite is positioned at 10 o'clock. You are regular, which means your left foot is forward. So you want to get on a decent speed. And then once you're ready to initiate step one, you want to pull immediately your backhand and go up wind for step two and push off. Once you're up in the air, right there, start pulling your front hand, which is your left. So you can bring the kite back on the other side so you can land softly downwind. And as soon as you land and everything under control, edge immediately upwind. So once again, don't forget uh, step one, two, three, and four. Right now we're gonna do step one, which is pull very hard the backhand and immediately go upwind for step two. And then right there, once you go upwind, step three, push off the board, okay? And then for step four, you're gonna go up and right there, start doing step four, which is pull your front hand so you can redirect the kite and land softly downwind. Again, step one, pull your backhand and immediately edge upwind for step two, right there. And then there, step three, push off. And then once you go up in the air, you're gonna initiate step 
four, which is pulling your front hand so you can bring the kite back down and land downwind softly. Once again, make sure your kite is parked at 10 o'clock. Then you're going to step one by pulling your back hand and step two, upwind, and step three, immediately push off, okay? And then step four, bring your kite back. So step one, pull your back hand and immediately go upwind and then push off. And then you're going to be up in the air and then start pulling your front hand so you can land nicely and softly. And then immediately, edge upwind. Okay, you learned step one, two, three, and four, correct? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, good luck. Today, it's his 12th time kiting. Let's see it. Okay, our guinea pig is coming. That's his 12th time kiting today. Okay, so you want to keep the kite at pretty much 10 o'clock, 11, and then when you're ready, make sure you pull it. Now pull, pull backhand. Go up wind, go up wind. Okay, you forgot step two. So it's very crucial. One, two, and three, they're pretty much all the same together. So when you pull your backhand with this, put your, put your backhand on it. Okay, so when you pull your backhand, this immediately you have to go upwind at the same time. So it's the same thing. You pull, you go upwind immediately, and then you push off. So when I pull it, then I turn me to Immediately, upwind. Immediately. One, two, three. Okay, so immediately. What you did is you did one, and you wait. Of course, the kite went to two o'clock, and you were still going straight. Okay, this is our guinea pig. As you can see, he's an office guy. He doesn't kite much. This is his 12th time kiting going out. So keep the kite at 10 o'clock. When you're ready, immediately ready, pull your backhand, pull it, and up, up, wind, up. He waited too long. See, he waited too long. He went down wind. That's not the right thing. He did jump, but then everything goes to hell. So once again, pull your backhand, edge up wind, push off, and then right there when you're at the top of the peak, Pull your front hand so you can redirect your kite so you can land softly in the water. As you can see, we switched boards because the wind has increased, but we kept the Screamer 12 up in the air. So now we can edge better to pop and jump high. This is another clip, but this time it's blowing really hard, 26 to 34. We're using the Screamer 7 with a small board, the Spartan 129 by 39. Same thing, but again, this time make sure you know your distance between you and the beach because of onshore wind. So right there, start pulling your front hand, which is step four, so you can land softly. Once again, this is my 12-year-old son, Cameron Marinier, showing you those four steps. Edge of wind, pulling, and right now the peak, redirect the kite by pulling your front hand. Make sure to land downwind, and then upwind immediately. Once again, do not underestimate the power of the screamer because the screamers can get you into big trouble if you don't calculate the distance of when you're gonna jump and land. Then once you learn how to jump, you'll be able to do all these tricks you've been dreaming of. But you need to learn how to jump first. <laughs> 